Schizoid personality disorder is categorized in cluster A of personality disorder in Diagnostic and Statistical Manual DSM-5 with some common features points. Number one, misleading thought patterns. Number two, impaired effectivity, especially in emotional response. Number three, impaired impulse control. And finally, number four, problems with interpersonal functioning. However, the main symptom of Sigzoid personality disorder is lacking of relationship with anyone including family members as well feeling and emotional disconnection with all people. Today, many people with this Sigzoid personality disorder are able to function well, although they tend to choose jobs that allow them to work alone such as night security officers, librarian or lab workers. What is Schizoid Personality Disorder? Basically, those individuals suffering from Schizoid Personality Disorder show minimal or zero interest in establishing close relationships. There are no for their introversion and their preference for being alone. They also often label as shy or as a loner. They have the tendency to turn inwards to prevent social relationships. Normally, they lack of emotional expression. Sometimes, this absence of emotion is seen by others as disinterest lack of concern and insensitivity to the needs of other people. They are trouble showing their anger or hostility. Normally, they show a dull appearance and are easily misinterpreted by others. People with schizo personality disorder will choose to be viewed as invisible, seen it helps them in avoiding social contact with other people and social distance. Essentially, a person with this disorder behaves differently from most other people. Number one, avoiding social interaction. Number two, finds trouble in coping with their everyday life. Number three, don't care about others or what's going on around them. And finally, poor in establishing interpersonal relationship. What is the causes of schizoid personality disorder? The exact cause of this disorder is unknown. Let's we see. There is some points that I would like to share. People with schizoid personality disorder have both genetics and environment are suspected to play a role in certain neurotransmitters in the brain. Another point is higher risk of someone in family has schizophrenia. Schizo personality disorder usually begins by early adulthood and may be noticeable during childhood. In school, in job, in socially or in other areas of life. Symptom of Schizoid Personality Disorder Basically, they does not desire or not enjoy close relationships. They also no interest in sexual experiences with another person. They show emotional coldness, detachment or flattened effect. And finally, they don't react to praise or critical remarks from others. Gradually, according to the DSM-5, symptoms of schizoid personality disorder included following 10 points. First, inability to enjoy activities. Second, lack of motivation and goals. Third, trouble relating to others. Fourth, 
low ability to express their emotions. Fifth, prefer to be alone. Sixth, pervasive pattern of isolation. Seventh, avoiding social situations. Eight, poor occupational skills. Nine, dull or indifferent. And finally, number 10, minimal capacity in adaptation to social situation. How is schizoid personality disorder diagnosed? There are no lab tests being used in the diagnosis of schizoid personality disorder. Usually, the diagnosis comes after a thorough interview by the doctor. The physician will ask about symptoms and mental well-being of the patient. Aside from that, the medical, psychiatric and social history of the individual will be taken. Well, to make the diagnosis happen, people with schizo must be a pervasive pattern of detachment and disinterest in relationships along with restricted emotional expression in social interaction. Basically, therapist or doctor may ask about your relationships with family, friends and co-workers. They also may ask about your symptom and any drug or alcohol being used. Also, you may perform some lab tests to extract medical problems and finally also you may try with self personality tests. What are the treatment options for schizoid personality disorder? The first treatment option is connective behavioral therapy. CBT is a hands-on approach of helping a person understand that their thoughts are directly connected to how they feel and how connected to their behavior. CBT help a person realize that if they can change their automatic thoughts in negative situation by using tips, techniques and coping skills. CBT is a short term model of therapy. Perhaps the duration depends on the condition that is being treated, but most conditions can be treated and completed in 16 to 20 weeks or 4 to 5 months. Schizo personality disorder are usually one of the most challenging mental disorder to treat because they are literally an important part of their self-perception. How it can be treated using CBT as an approach of helping people. There is a six basic treatment point that schizo personality disorder can be focused on finding solutions. First, design how to change the behavior. Second, explain how to change the thoughts. Third, help to identify and cope with specific challenge. Fourth, Help to learn new thought and connective behavior patterns. Fifth, help to develop concrete thoughts and real-life problem-solving solutions. Finally, help to understand pattern of thinking. Another treatment option is medication. There are no medication available, specifically labeled for treatment of the condition. However, people with schizo personality disorder frequently suffer from depression, in which case the doctor may prescribe an antidepressant medication. Majority of patients show no sign of improvement with the addition of antidepressant unless they are suffering from major depression. Finally, using medication for long-term treatment should be avoided and is recommended only for relieving acute symptoms.
another treatment option, self-test. It's a quick and easy way to test yourself. Some basic questions to ask your doctor. What is the likely causing my symptom or condition? What are other possible causes? Is my condition likely temporary or long term? What treatments are most likely to be effective for me? If you were recommending medication, what are the possible side effects? Is there a generic alternative to the medicine? How much can I expect my symptoms to improve with treatment? I have other health conditions. How can I best manage them together? And finally, are there brochures or other printed materials that I can have or what website do you recommend? What doctor expect from people with schizoid personality disorder? Number one, what are the problems or symptoms that concern you? Two, have you noticed that your symptoms get worse in certain situations? If yes, what are those situations and how do you handle them? Three, do you have close friends or family? If not, does it bother you? Four, do you frequently choose to do things by yourself? Fifth, what do you prefer to do in your free time? Six, have you ever thought about harming yourself or others? Have you ever done so? Seven, have your family members or friends expressed concern about your behavior? Eight, have any of your close relatives been diagnosed with or treated for mental illness? Finally, do you drink alcohol or use drugs? If so, how often? This is the conclusion. With suitable treatment and a skilled therapist, people with sixoid personality disorder can make significant progress and improve the quality of life. It is important to note that stability and support are successful treatment with someone who suffer from this disorder. However, it is also important to learn how to cope with their condition on their own well. Thank you.